Next! We got a battle node, we got an adventure node. Let's do the adventure node. Your travels along the high road are intercepted by a pair of knights. Clad in suits of bronze iron, their greenish almost oxidized hue and heraldry identify them as members of Lord Mart's Knight's Pyram, the order responsible for maintaining peace on the roads. Hail Traveler! Fear not! May I ask about your purpose here? I am Kay of House Lauren, and I'm traveling east. Well met! I'm afraid your visit is rather ill-timed. The approach to Lordemar is not the safest of places right now. What happened? We live in an age of peace, but obviously, this wasn't always the case. Some say that the old hatreds never really waned in Lordemar. Some say they carry our people still. There is something of this old hatred in the air here, Master Loren. A curse, a swelling, a phenomenon, call it what you want, but the facts are undeniable. There's a lot of undead that are rising. Well, thank you for the warning, let me pass. Hold on, if you truly intend to venture into the approach, then we are to aid you in any way we can. Do you require supplies? A holy symbol! A trinket! Doubtful, but it's heavy, and you gave me fire resistance. I mean, I'll take it. And we got some XP on the way. Now, next up, let's head to camp. Ah! A nice scene over with Theo and Alice. Is... are they still both blocked? Yeah, they are. So that's unfortunate. Let's rest. Actually, let's not. I don't have anyone to revive. But let's save, though! And then, continue our adventures. Some of the most striking features of Lord Mar are its soaring monumental towers, scattered all around the country in what seems to be an architectonic quest to pierce the heavens. Regardless of the ideological reasoning behind it, these so-called Welkin Spires are an awe-inducing tradition for natives and travelers alike, one as old as the country itself. Considering the centuries of cultured change, this is no small feat. Uh, what's with the info dump? I'm glad you asked! Not every spire has survived Lord Mar's tumultuous history. Just so happens your party has stumbled upon a busy reconstruction effort for one of the spires. Uh, okay, let's approach the uh, workers. The overall scale turns out to be quite imposing. Uh, okay, okay. They have a donation box. Let's read the uh, plaque for it. Let it be known that they are looking for handouts. I mean, I have quite a few dialects. Let's see what happens. I got RP. I lost some with Alice, though. And we got some XP. Alright, dungeon! Complete. Now, we have the quest over here for the meeting place. And we also have the quest for... Um, Signy over here. It's quite a trek over there. But I think it's gonna be worth it. Let's go to the Cave of Trials. The entrance to the cave is just ahead. Are you ready? I am. May the ancestors guide us. I mean, I hear a giant toad right out here. There's probably gonna be one to find. Oh wait, did we just leave her there? Do we have to wait? Enter the Cave of Trials. Was that not what I just did? Oh, it's nearby. Okay, let's head over there then. Oh, that's another two days! Not sure if we could afford that. But venture forth. Billows and nauseating miasma rise from the stale bog water as you step forth into the cavern. The cavern's wall glistens with the repugnant stuff substance, and there's an organic glow that shines through. 
Signy will have to face it alone. All right, Signy. The deeper you get, the more the tunnel morph into a claustrophobic landscape of razor-sharp rocks, shattered geometry, and grinding passages. But there's a clear impression of human presence in the air. A fading memory or presence. The story presented to you by the duckling's kin seems to be steadily confirm to steadily confirm itself. You certainly aren't the first hunter to navigate these caverns. Like a talon of the colossal beast, a seemingly unconquerable pillar of irregular boulder rises from the bedrock. As you follow with your with your gaze, you notice oddities. Climb the pillar. You struggle, struggle and slip and scrape, but your determination never falters. The ancestors are watching. You don't stop climbing. Ascending the spire, you find yourself in a chamber very unlike the one you just left behind. There are glowworms that skitter around. There are organic filament or firmaments. And there are stalks of lichen, flowstone, and acrid shrubbery. But there are herbs and stuff. Okay. Something about this place makes you feel weird and human, but also, oddly enough, nostalgic. A stick catches your eye. Its unassuming shape attached to what looks like a damaged clay goblet or brazier. The most striking feature, however, is the skull impaled on the stick. After a moment of confusion, you realize that it's not meant to be one particular skull, or any skull really. What you see before you is a composition of many individual parts. Jaws of a viper, tusks of a boar, horns of an oryx, a faceless mosaic of creatures frozen in time, a house of spirits. Approach it. I am Kelra. I have come to find my totem. You are answered with silence. Let's put our hand on... I wonder if this is like a choice. Like what sort of uh, buff do you get or something? But let's go with the uh, skull. Nothing happens on the skull. How about bowing before the FEG? Nothing. Teeth. You put your hand on the teeth and they prove to be just as sharp as they look. The instant your finger slides on one of the fangs, a little red streak of blood appears. <laughs> but nothing else happened. Also, you're bleeding now. What about the goblet? Blood drips down the goblet as you put your hand inside. Something begins to stir within, like an imprint of hungry ancient fury sending vibrations through your body. You hear a hiss and a thick pungent vapor fills the air, engulfing your senses. The light of the glowworms dims and shudders, blending before your eyes into a twinkling mass of organic hysteria. The shadows grow larger, stranger. And suddenly you realize you are not alone anymore. A faded dark shape rises into the overgrowth. It does not move, but you are certain it is watching you. I am a Keldra, I have come to find my totem. The shape wobbles and twitches, almost completely disappearing for a split second. A thought, a voiceless whisper of a message materializes within your mind, resounding from within. Signy of the Kelra, daughter of Arbron. I'm ready to be tested, old ones. Our lives are our tests, Signy of the Kelra. A life is a trial by itself, a journey, and yours marks you distinctly. You come seeking your totem, but the answer should be evident by now. Can you not feel it? The voice confuses. Elaborate. You are the unyielding, the unbroken, the undaunted. You seek a totem, an aspect that will serve confirmation for your existence. But it has been found in spite of your attempts, not because of them. What do you mean? The incomplete right that you have been undertaking for so long. What does it prove if not tenacity? You are a stubborn creature, Signe of the Kelra. You do not relent, you do not submit, and you do not feel fear. As he speaks, something begins to grow within you. A sound, a thump of a thousand drums, each a primal growl chasing your heartbeat. The 
try to say something, but you cannot. Before it dissipates, the shape offers one final whisper. Peace cometh. You drop to your knees, overpowered by this unfamiliar beat of your senses. Something stirs in the shadows beyond your sight, grunting, growling, no doubt approaching you. You struggle to get up, to prepare. You raise your head, but there is no monster, no colossal predator in sight. Instead, you find yourself face to face with a ratel, staring at you quizzingly, your totem, your beast. The animal nods sagely at you, as if in acceptance. Signia the Kelrite utters, undaunted. It pauses, its eyes betraying signs of curiosity. It seems to be awaiting your response. May we never falter on our path. You blink, and the spirit is gone. The ride has been completed. Yay, we did it! Alright, let's head back to town, because we need to level up our um, levels with Theo and Signy. And we should have enough materials to upgrade some uh, of our stores. Which one do we want to do, though? Also, we got another kingdom quest? Ah, the um, clearing of the dungeon. But let's check our personal quest here for the vendors. I think Gunfer is a good bet, so we can eventually unlock fine weapons. And I might take a few um, days, or I don't think it actually takes days, but it takes uh, resources to craft weapons. So that way we might be able to craft or get the kingdom quest for 10 regular weapons and 8 fine. And maybe I'll do some fishing as well. But... Uh, do we want to upgrade... You, maybe? Or Winter? Either way, let's go talk to... Who's available today? Nobody! Of course not! Nobody is available today. Well, let's head to the castle then and upgrade one of our stores. I think that takes a day. I would like to update, or upgrade, the smithy. Level 2. Done. And there is also a quest to upgrade, like, all of them to level 2. I think. Let's check it out. Wait, Kingdom Quest updated again? Did I get another one? Upgrade all any three buildings at least once. Maybe we got construct five buildings? No, we probably already have that. Upgrade any six buildings at least once. Upgrade a building twice. Haven't we already upgraded the building twice? The inn? Maybe not. Maybe we'll try to upgrade the inn then. That should be a good investment if we can afford it. We can! Do it. That gives us another quest, and that also gives us access to uh, higher RP with the innkeepers, which is a good thing. Let's see if I can upgrade you. No. No. Alright, let's head back to the castle. And then we should have another construction quest done. That's awesome. And we might be able to uh, get a new level with you, which will help us significantly with the Dialac and the RP. However, that's going to be it for another day. Hit that thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share the videos around to get the views up. Because views make the world go round. As always, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.